This I say therefore, and testify in the Lord, that ye henceforth walk not as other Gentiles walk, in the vanity of their mind, having the understanding darkened, being alienated from the life of God through the ignorance that is in them, because of the blindness of their heart, who being past feeling have given themselves over unto lasciviousness to work all uncleanness with greediness. But ye have not so learned Christ, if so be that ye have heard him and have been taught by him as the truth is in Jesus. As the Most High continued to unseal the scriptures with truth, the nations that conspired against the Israelites are looking for ways to get the strangers and the Israelites back to submitting to their falsehoods. The truth is like a wildfire that light up the whole world. The spiritual wickedness in high places believe they can war with the Most High and win. Despite the scriptures prophesying about their end, they believe they can override prophecy. The scriptures in the book of Isaiah said they have made lies their refuge and hide behind their falsehoods. Because ye have said, we have made a covenant with death and with hell are we at agreement. When the overflowing scourge shall pass through, it shall not come unto us. For we have made lies our refuge and under falsehood have we hid ourselves. We've reviewed the scripture in the book of Isaiah multiple times in the past few weeks. The Most High continued to bring this verse into the forefront to warn his people about the spiritual wickedness in high places. Israelites, you really need to listen to the verse in Isaiah chapter 28 verse 15 and take heed to what is being said. The heathens believe the covenant and agreement they made with hell and death will save them. The workers of iniquity who have been deceived by the Satans believe they can spend their entire life being an enemy to the Most High and they will spend eternity in paradise. They confidently said when the overflowing of the scourge passed through, it won't come to them. They went as far as to say because they have made lies their refuge and hide behind their falsehoods. The spiritual wickedness in high places believe they will overcome whatever comes their way. The scriptures in the book of Isaiah is showing us how confident the heathens are in the covenants they made with hell and death. The created creatures believe they can defeat the one who created them. This kind of pride only stems from Satan. Satan's downfall was that he deceived himself. He said in his heart, I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. I will be like the most high. For thou hast said in thine heart, I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will be like the Most High. After deceiving himself, Satan deceived a large population of the angels as well as Adam and Eve. In every generation, Satan deceived the seed of Adam. That is why the scriptures in the book of Revelation said, Satan have deceived the whole world. The workers of iniquity perceive the Most High's delay or timing of judging the nations for their wickedness is favor. That is why in the book of Zechariah, we see the heathens praising their God after their diabolical savagery towards the Israelites. They don't hold themselves accountable for their crimes. They said in their heart that their God have blessed them by making them rich. Whose possessors slay them and hold themselves not guilty. And they that sell them say, Blessed be the Lord, for I am rich. And their own shepherds pity them not. Israelites, I bring these scriptures into the forefront for you to see how the Satans have deceived the workers of iniquity who do their will. Although the heathens conspired against us to cut us off from being a nation, the workers of iniquity don't realize that they have been deceived. The heathens believe they are winning, but they have been blinded with lies and falsehoods. They will soon realize the covenants they made with death and hell was meaningless. Just like some of the fallen angels who turned their backs on the Most High found out believing Satan's lies cost them greatly. 
some of the fallen angels that are held in prison asked Enoch to intercede on their behalf with the Most High. The fallen angels was hoping the Most High would have mercy on them and forgive their sins. The Most High declined their petition. None of their requests was granted to them. And they besought me to draw up a petition for them that they might find forgiveness and to read their petition in the presence of the Lord of heaven. For from thenceforward, they could not speak with him, nor lift up their eyes to heaven for shame of their sins for which they had been condemned. And Enoch went and said, Azazel, thou shalt have no peace. A severe sentence has gone forth against thee to put thee in bounds, and thou shalt not have a toleration nor request granted to thee, because of the unrighteousness which thou hast taught, and because of all the works of godlessness and unrighteousness and sin which thou hast shown to men. Then I went and spoke to them all together, and they were all afraid, and fear and trembling seized them. Despite their plea to be forgiven, none of them found forgiveness of sins. The abominations the fallen angels have done on the earth and to mankind cannot be forgiven. It's through all the abominations the fallen angels taught is causing mankind to perish. The teachings of the fallen angels are the foundation to many religions, as well as to many traditions that are sacred to mankind. The very abominations the Most High condemned the watchers who defiled themselves with the daughters of men, as well as the other fallen angels who followed Satan El, is the foundation in religion and the beast system. Yet the Gentiles and Israelites who take refuge in religion believe they will find forgiveness of sins, while practicing the same abominations that condemn the fallen angels to hell. If the Most High didn't forgive the fallen angels for their iniquity, all of you who practice the abominations of the fallen angels won't find forgiveness of sins either. Hiding behind Jesus, the God of this world, is not going to save you. I will therefore put you in remembrance, though ye once knew this, how that the Lord, having saved the people out of the land of Egypt, afterward destroyed them that believed not, and the angels which kept not their first estate but left to their own habitation. He hath reserved in everlasting chains under darkness unto the judgment of the great day. And a command has gone forth from the presence of the Lord concerning those who dwell on the earth that their ruin is accomplished because they have learned all the secrets of the angels and all the violence of the Satans and all their powers, the most secret ones, and all the power of those who practice sorcery, and the power of witchcraft, and the power of those who make molten images for the whole earth. Presently in the beast culture, many uphold the teachings of the fallen angels. The very people who say they serve the God of Israel, the same people who say color doesn't matter, they will serve the God of Israel. They believe they will make it into the kingdom following the teachings of the fallen angels. The Satan called Simjaza taught mankind enchantments. Today, witchcraft is practiced by many people. The beast culture even glamorized sorcery. Religion is the gateway that gives the heathens the opportunity to openly practice sorcery. Religion is the definition to idolatry and witchcraft. The Satan called Azazel taught mankind how to make knives, swords, and all weapons of war. Azazel taught mankind about mixing colors and the metals as well as makeup. The Satan called Gadriel taught mankind the blows of death. The Satan called Castigia taught mankind how to kill a baby in the womb. And the fifth was named Castigia. This is he who showed the children of men all the wicked smiting of spirits and demons and the smiting of the embryo in the womb that it may pass away and the smiting of the soul, the bites of the serpent and the smiting which befall through the noontide he, the son of the serpent named Tibet. The book of Enoch revealed all the secret things the fallen angels have taught mankind. Today, mankind practice the abominations of the fallen angels as if the fallen angels' teachings are accepted by the Most High. The Most High didn't give mankind the wisdom to do these things. Today, we see people fighting in the beast system to legalize abortion. The very people who are fighting to legalize abortion are the same people that say they serve the God of Israel. 
They practice the teachings of the fallen angels and they believe they will be saved. If the fallen angels who taught mankind these things found no mercy, what do you believe will happen to the people who partake in the teachings of the fallen angels? The time have come for the Gentiles and Israelites to understand you can't serve the most high and uphold the ways of the Satans. You cannot serve two masters. No man can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one and love the other, or else he will hold to the one and despise the other. Ye do not serve God and mammon. It's either you're for the Most High and serve him in the spirit and in truth, or against him and take refuge in lies. Just as the Most High was harsh with the fallen angels, all Gentiles and Israelites who abide not in the truth will be met with the same harsh judgments. The scriptures made it known the truth shall make you free, as well as the truth that is rooted in the word of the Most High will sanctify you. How are you a self-proclaimed child of the Most High and practice the abominations learned from the fallen angels? Today, the heathens believe the covenants they've made with the Satans will give them their desired outcome in eternity. That is why spiritual Israel is widely accepted among the Gentiles. The workers of iniquity have transformed the truth into a lie. Now in the last days, the truth is spreading faster than a wildfire. The heathens can no longer hide behind their falsehoods, nor could they take refuge in their lies. Despite the overwhelming evidence the truth is exposing in the end times, there's still some Israelites and Gentiles that cannot comprehend the truth. The strong delusion put on them to accept a lie as truth is one of the judgments against all people who reject the truth of the Most High's words. And with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish, because they received not the love of the truth, that they might be saved. And for this cause, God shall send them strong delusion that they should believe a lie. Everyone who take pleasure in unrighteousness, the strong delusion sent by the Most High will make everyone who reject the truth believe the lies and falsehoods from the Satans. The scripture in the second book of Thessalonians said, the delusion will condemn all who reject the truth. To the remnant, be vigilant and observe the people around you. Keep a record of all people who are having a difficult time accepting the truth. If the truth the Most High is pouring out into the world offends you, you're a part of the population of people the Most High sent the strong delusion upon to believe a lie. Israelites, that is why it's pointless to debate and argue with the heathens who terrorize you, as well as the unbelieving Israelites who follow the heathens. It wasn't given to them to know the mysteries. The delusion had blinded their minds. The only way anyone can be sanctified is by the truth. The scripture said the word of the Most High is truth. Sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is truth. That is why the heathens alter and plagiarize the word of the Most High, to conceal the truth from you. In addition to the words of the Most High sanctifying you, the Most High want all of his servants to serve him in the spirit and in truth. If you serve the Most High, you can't run from the truth. The Gentiles have a long history of running from the truth. If the truth don't give them the desires of their heart, they will alter the truth. That is why the scriptures in the book of Isaiah said they made lies their refuge. They hide behind their falsehoods. Their falsehoods give them the reassurance they are looking for, while the truth of the Most High's words don't give them their heart's desire. Their falsehoods and lies give them salvation and made them spiritual Israel while the words of the Most High is like a two-edged sword that is piercing their spirit. The Most High is exposing the beast system and the heathens that run the beast system with the Satans. Israelites, it's about time you understand how the Gentiles who profess to serve your God conspired against you. Despite the scriptures prophesying that the times of the Gentiles would end, the Most High is exposing the Gentiles with a lot of truth. Everyone who served the God of Israel with their lips and their heart is far from him. The truth that is being poured out is exposing their hard hearts. This people draweth nigh unto me with their mouth and honoreth me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. This I say therefore and testify in the Lord that ye henceforth walk not as other Gentiles walk in the vanity of their mind, having the understanding darkened being alienated from the life of God through the ignorance that is in them 
because of the blindness of their heart. The scripture said, many people honor the most high with their lips, but their heart is far from him. The truth is fulfilling that scripture. You would believe the truth would bring joy to Israelites and Gentiles all over the world. But as the most high revealed the truth, the workers of iniquity try to bury the truth with lies. Some Gentiles believe if they ignore the truth, they can continue in their falsehoods. As the Most High reveal what is hiding in the hearts of many with truth, we need to know who are the Gentiles. The true Gentiles are the non-Israelites that are indigenous black people. The Gentiles would be all of Adam's descendants. Because there are two species of mankind, I have to make sure to clarify that the Gentiles are the non-Israelites from the other nations that descend from Adam. The spiritual wickedness in high places have altered and changed everything in the beast system to blend the seed of the fallen, the other species of mankind, with Adam's seed. A Gentile in today's society are considered all non-Jews. Because of the alterations and manipulation done to the scriptures, multiple groups of people are now considered Gentiles. Depending on the context of the scripture, it would identify which group of people the scriptures is referencing. The Gentiles can be the northern kingdom of Israel, the entire 12 tribes of Israel, the bloodline of Japheth, and all people who are not of the Israelite bloodline, the nations. I have done several videos about the Gentiles and who they are. The scripture said in the book of Luke that Jerusalem would be trampled on by the Gentiles until the times of the Gentiles come to an end. And they shall fall by the edge of the sword and shall be led away captive into all nations. And Jerusalem shall be trodden down of the Gentiles until the times of the Gentiles be fulfilled. Indeed, Jerusalem is being trampled by the Gentile nations. However, some of the Gentiles cannot see that their time is coming to an end. Instead of repenting, many Gentiles are getting even more prideful and bolder. Israelites, you have to come to the realization that many people who proclaim to serve the God of Israel and allied with us is not for us. The road to the coming kingdom is extremely narrow. The Most High is harvesting by separating the tares from the wheat. Everyone who religion have deceived through false doctrines won't make it into the kingdom. Due to their lack of knowledge, they are unaware that they are serving demons and false gods in religion. The Most High gave the Gentiles times to make things right. Instead of making things right, they continue to conspire against us to cut us off from being a people, as well as interfering with the words of the Most High. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people and consulted against thy hidden ones. They have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation, that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. Several Gentile nations came together to conspire against the Israelites to cut them off from being a people. Even the kings of the earth, the Most High is using to expose truth, conspired against the Israelites to cut them off from being a people. Just because Putin exposed his secret vault, it doesn't mean he's for you. If the kings of the earth had your best interests at heart, they would have never concealed the truth in their vaults. If they serve the God of Israel, they would have never accepted the imposters who are not the true descendants of the Israelites. The kings of the earth that appear to be your friends are partakers with the Satans who cut you off from your heritage. Satan may be the God of this world. He doesn't have absolute power. The Most High can appoint kings and dethrone kings. The Most High can use whomever he wants to accomplish his will on earth. And he changeth the times and the seasons. He removeth kings, and setteth up kings. He giveth wisdom unto the wise, and knowledge to them that know understanding. Some people give the Satans too much power and credit. The Satans are not equal to the Most High. Israelites don't put limitations on the Most High. Just because the kings of the earth and the seed of the fallen have enmity towards you, it doesn't mean the Most High can't use them to accomplish his will. Many channels like mine struggle to reach a larger audience because the heathens who say they serve the God of Israel suppress our channels to hide the truth the Most High is revealing through some Israelites. With the heathens falsifying the information on our channels, the truth being revealed is not reaching a massive audience. The heathens launch a lot of propaganda in the media to discredit us and to put an end to the awakening. That is not the behavior of Gentiles that proclaim to serve the God of Israel. 
The heathens went as far as to create policies labeling the truth as hate speech and conspiracy theories. These community guidelines they've created gave them the right to silence many voices. How do you serve the God of Israel and suppress the truth? The truth is meant to make the people free. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. The workers of iniquity who serve the Satans will suppress the truth, as well as all the Gentiles that follow the workers of iniquity will support the workers of iniquity who suppress many voices, because they perish from a lack of knowledge. Remember, Satan is the father of lies. The Most High used the kings of the earth to expose the truth on a global level. Many of us have been teaching truth on YouTube for years. However, the workers of iniquity made sure to shadow ban channels to hide truth, just as they have been doing for years in their secret vaults. Despite the suppression on most channels, the Most High used his people, the Israelites, to make a lot of noise and to bring awareness to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. The Gentiles that proclaimed to serve the God of Israel made themselves available to be used as vessels of dishonor. Remember, the Most High have vessels made for honor and some for dishonor. But in a great house, there are not only vessels of gold and of silver, but also of wood and of earth, and some to honor and some to dishonor. If a man therefore purge himself from these, he shall be a vessel unto honor, sanctified, and meet for the master's use and prepared unto every good work. Israelites, the Most High used the vessels made for dishonor to accomplish his will. The Satans, despite being wicked and turning their backs on the Most High, the Father used them to do his will on the earth. The Satan, Mastema, asked the Most High to allow some of the unclean spirits that tormented Noah's family to dwell on the earth in order to fulfill his calling. Just because the Most High used certain kings of the earth to accomplish his will, it doesn't mean you should worship them or put them on a pedestal. Don't give the glory of the Most High to the wicked kings of the earth. Too many Israelites are putting Putin on a pedestal. The indigenous black people are quick to make a god out of a heathen. Give the Most High the glory. It's the Most High behind the scenes orchestrating what you see in the physical realm. Remember, when the Most High hardened Pharaoh's heart to do his will, to the Israelites, it appear as if the Pharaoh is stubborn and full of power. Little did they know it was the Most High behind the scenes that hardened Pharaoh's heart to do his will. And the Lord hardened the heart of Pharaoh, and he hearkened not unto them, as the Lord had spoken unto Moses. The kings of the earth are not powerful. The Most High controlled them. Israelites, don't give the glory of the Father to anyone. The exposure of the Gentiles is unveiling a lot to the remnant with an eye to see and ears to hear. The Satans deceive many Gentiles to believe because they have yet been held accountable for their iniquities, they can do whatever they want. Some Gentiles fail to realize that the only reason it appears as if you're untouchable and been in power for a long period of time, the downfall of the chosen people gave the Gentiles power and control over the earth. Remember, the earth was given into the hands of the wicked. The only reason it appears as if the Gentiles are favored by the Most High, the Israelites are being judged right now for all of their iniquities. The Most High said in the book of Amos that he would punish his people for all of their iniquities. Hear this word that the Lord hath spoken against you, O children of Israel, against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, You only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities. The Most High is using the Gentile nations to punish his people for all of their iniquities. The promised land is being trampled by the Gentiles until the time of the Gentiles are fulfilled. The wealth of the Israelites was given to the wicked so that the judgment against the Israelites would pour out on them to fulfill the scriptures. Remember, everything written must be fulfilled. The Most High used the Gentile nations to chastise his people for forsaking him multiple times. Because the heart of many are wicked and the population of the wicked is massive, the Most High easily found the Gentile nations willing to oppress the Israelites. The Gentiles have no problem oppressing the natural branches. That is why in the beast system, the wealth gap between the Israelites and the other nations is massive. 
The nations oppressed the natural branches until this day while proclaiming to serve the God of Israel. The Israelites are paying the consequences for their iniquity while the Gentiles are led to believe they have replaced the Israelites because they have yet been held accountable for all of their iniquities. The Gentiles haven't come to the realization that the day of the Lord is when the Gentiles will be judged for all of their iniquities. For the day of the Lord is near upon all the heathen. As thou hast done, it shall be done unto thee. Thy reward shall return upon thine own head. The workers of iniquity discourage the Gentiles from reading the Old Testament. The Gentiles are unaware of what is written in the scriptures. The spiritual Israel doctrine made the Gentiles unaware of the judgment decreed upon them. If the Most High judge his people that is called by his name and scattered them into their enemy's land where they are oppressed continually, the Most High didn't spare the fallen angels but locked them in prisons until the day of judgment. I'm not sure why the other nations believe they will escape despite all the wickedness they have done in this world. The Gentiles assist the Satans to carry out their will in the beast system as well as in religion. Creating a God in religion to take your sins away is not going to spare you. For if God spared not the natural branches, take heed lest he also spare not thee. The injuries caused by the Gentiles to the Israelites are incurable. The distress of the Israelites coming from your cruel hands is a testimony against the nations who enslaved them and robbed them of everything while belittling them in the B system. Despite the nations knowing the truth, they conceal the truth to continue to oppress the people of the Most High. The Most High allowed the Gentile nations to do these things to his people because of their iniquities. Just as the Most High said to the fallen angels that their wickedness cannot go unpunished and their sins is too massive to be forgiven. The nations that conspired against the Israelites and polluted the things of the Most High will be judged just like the angels and the Israelites for their iniquities. Despite the Most High allowing the Gentiles to oppress his people, the nations who have done these things will not escape. For thus saith the Lord, thy bruise is incurable and thy wound is grievous. There is none to plead thy cause that thou mayest be bound up. Thou hast no healing medicines. All thy lovers have forgotten thee. They seek thee not. For I have wounded thee with the wound of an enemy, with the chastisement of a cruel one, for the multitude of thine iniquity, because thy sins were increased. Why criest thou for thine affliction? Thy sorrow is incurable for the multitude of thine iniquity, because thy sins were increased. I have done these things unto thee. Therefore all they that devour thee shall be devoured, and all thine adversaries, every one of them, shall go into captivity. And they that spoil thee shall be a spoil, and all that prey upon thee will I give for a prey. The Gentiles don't know that the heathens in the scriptures is speaking to their nations as well as Israelites who follow the heathens. The day of the Most High is reserved for all the wicked nations that conspired against his people. The nations that polluted the Most High's land with their witchcraft and sorceries. The misleading of the people through false doctrines and countless other offenses the nations have done on the earth. To the heathens that enslaved the Israelites, your fathers haven't been held accountable for their atrocities against the people of the Most High, nor have you. Creating a God that don't hold anyone accountable in religion is not going to stop the judgment of the Most High against the nations. The father will bring all of the heathens into the valley of Jehoshaphat to judge the nations. I will also gather all nations and will bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat and will plead with them there for my people and for my heritage Israel, whom they have scattered among the nations and parted my land. Let the heathen be wakened and come up to the valley of Jehoshaphat, for there will I sit to judge all the heathen round about. The high-level workers of iniquity deceive the Gentiles into believing the nations spoken of in the scriptures is not referring to their nations because they are spiritual Israel. The workers of iniquity made the Gentiles oblivious unto whom the scriptures are speaking to in the book of Joel and countless other books they have banned. 
The Satans, through the spiritual wickedness in high places, gave the Gentiles a false sense of security with their false doctrines. To the Gentiles of today that are angry with the truth, prepare for the day of the Lord. There are some Gentiles that go out of their way to strip the Israelites of everything despite of the overwhelming facts about the heathens falsifying history and plagiarizing the word of the Most High. The enmity in their hearts won't let them rest. The Most High did say he would put enmity between the woman's seed and the serpent's seed. And I will put enmity between thee and the woman, and between thy seed and her seed. It shall bruise thy head and thou shalt bruise his heel. When it comes to the group of people the scriptures labeled wicked, everyone don't know to whom those scriptures are referring to. However, when it comes to the scriptures that talk about the blessings of the Most High and how the Most High will save the righteous, everyone identify with the righteous. The scriptures said, broad is the way that leads to destruction, and many will find the road that leads to destruction. In the minds of the Gentiles, the judgment reserved for their nations are not speaking to them. The counterfeit God created in the beast religion gave them salvation. To the Gentiles, you can't be spiritual Israel, the Gentiles and the righteous. If you're all these people, what happened to the natural branches? The Satans deceived the Gentiles into believing because of their righteousness, the Most High replaced the natural branches with them. The Satans created spiritual Israel to make the Gentiles comfortable in their sins. The Satans will use the Gentiles to oppress the natural branches while deceiving many Gentiles into believing they are blessed and highly favored. And the angel came in unto her and said, Hail, thou that art highly favored, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. You can't inherit the coming kingdom if the God of this world is your Lord and Savior. In addition, the doctrines from Rome is guiding you spiritually. The truth is being revealed to show the Gentiles their error, as well as giving the Israelites the time to repent and return to their God. The spirit of truth was sent out in this generation to gather the people that truly serve the God of Israel. Fighting the truth because the people you felt were inferior or not worthy of salvation shouldn't come out of the mouths of people who are supposedly righteous. The heart of many Gentiles and some Israelites are exposing them. Out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. A good man out of the good treasure of his heart bringeth forth that which is good. And an evil man out of the evil treasure of his heart bringeth forth that which is evil. For of the abundance of the heart, his mouth speaketh. Israelites, I hope you're starting to see the heart of the very people that proclaim to serve the God of Israel. You can't serve the God of Israel and partake in oppressing the natural branches. You can't serve the God of Israel and participate in hiding the truth. You can't serve the God of Israel and fight the truth the Most High said would increase the knowledge of the people in the end times. But thou, O Daniel, shut up the words and seal the book, even to the time of the end. Many shall run to and fro, and knowledge shall be increased. The truth is the word of the Most High as the scriptures state in the Bible. If the truth offends anyone, they are offended by the word of the Most High. Israelites, the scriptures said, despite of knowledge increasing, the people will become even more wicked. The Gentiles and some Israelites won't repent. They will continue in the abominations they've learned from the fallen angels. And the rest of the men which were not killed by these plagues yet repented not of the works of their hands that they should not worship devils and idols of gold and silver and brass and stone and of wood, which neither can see nor hear nor walk. Neither repented they of their murders, nor of their sorceries, nor of their fornication, nor of their thefts. All of this is written in the very Bible the Gentiles who proclaim to be spiritual Israel supposedly reads. The prophecies are there for all to read. However, if you're not a part of the remnant that was blessed to know the mysteries, their eyes will be closed to the prophecies. Today in the end times, the Most High is giving all people the opportunity to make things right. The times of the Gentiles is coming to an end. Nations are against other nations. The Israelites have been homeless since the Most High removed his people from his presence and scattered them into all the kingdoms of this world. The nations that will be judged must be the Gentile nations that have scattered his people and parted the Most High's land. 
Remember, in 1948, the state of Israel was formed. Who are the nations that participated in helping the workers of iniquity steal land? Just because you didn't participate in the overtaking, it doesn't mean you did not participate. Saying you stand with Israel, as well as acknowledging that the imposters pretending to be the Israelites are the true people, when you know that is false, make you a partaker. Israelites, that is why the Most High say, don't be partakers with them. Be not ye therefore partakers with them. The time have come for the Gentiles to know that your falsehoods can no longer control the people the Most High have awakened out of their slumber. You can no longer take refuge in your lies. Your falsehoods will only deceive the people who reject the truth. The truth of the Most High's words is the power of the Most High to those of us who are being transformed. Israelites, the time of the Gentiles give us the opportunity to return to the Father. Following the Gentiles' way to salvation will lead you to the lake of fire. The Gentiles themselves are not aware that they are deceived. They believe they've replaced you. They make it their life goal to strip you of your inheritance. The time have come for you to focus on your redemption. No honest person who served the God of Israel would continue in the falsehoods of the workers of iniquity who served the Satans. That is why the Most High must separate the tares from the wheat at the harvest. Let both grow together until the harvest. In the time of harvest, I will say to the reapers, Gather ye together first the tares, and bind them in bundles to burn them. But gather the wheat into my barn. The harvest is now. Israelites, changing the appearance of the Messiah is not the only alterations the workers of iniquity have done to deceive you and all the Gentiles that have accepted the appearance of the graven image that shouldn't exist. The nations have done so much more. That is why we shouldn't have nothing in common with them nor should we make any covenants with the heathens and with their gods. The nations have forsaken you, just as you have heard in the book of Jeremiah. They've conspired to cut you off from being a nation. The Gentiles know what they were doing. Why do you continue to follow after the gods of the Gentiles? The Gentiles should be cleaving to you, not you cleaving to them. Israelites, the time have come for you to let the truth sanctify you come out of the beast culture and be separate create in me a clean heart O god and renew a right spirit within me cast me not away from thy presence and take not thy holy spirit from me restore unto me the joy of thy salvation and uphold me with thy free spirit then will i teach transgressors thy ways and sinners shall be converted unto thee. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, thou God of my salvation, and my tongue shall sing aloud of thy righteousness.